Hi, this is Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams, but from a student perspective. So this will look at guiding you through how to access team, how to communicate with your teachers and fellow students, how to hand in assignments, and how to view files and more. We'll also look at how we can use it to do video conferencing if we're doing a remote lesson. I hope you find it useful. So the first thing to do is navigate to office.com and then log in. Now our login details are typically our college username and password, which is normally your email address and then the password you have been given or set. Once done, you'll be able to access the office.com portal and select the Teams icon, which will open up Teams in your web browser. You can also download Teams as you can see here and you can log in again using your college username and password. For this example, we'll use the downloaded version of Teams, but they are the same. Here, you'll see all of the teams that you've been assigned or added to, and you can click these. If you haven't got a team, you can join the team with a join code if your teacher has given you one, but most of the time, they will have added you to a team already. Your activity log works a little bit like Facebook, and it gives you all of your activities, and you can filter these as well and it gives you notifications essentially of all of the things that are happening in Teams. The next is chat, and in here you can start new messages to chat to your teacher or fellow students, and this is really useful to get support or if you're working in a group. You'll have chat options as well, such as attaching files, and you can even set emojis and more. You can also video conference with your teacher if this is setting is enabled. The next is Teams, and this is where most things happen. Here you can see I'm going into a test class, and you'll see that there's some work set by my teacher. And you can see here, look, you can click show more, and you can read the messages that have been set by your teacher. You can as well, if enabled, reply to these comments and suggestions. You can also click files that have been given to your teacher to view these files, and these are typically the work that has been given, such as presentations, and more. You might also be asked to collaborate on documents. So here you can see my teacher has set me a car review, which I can click on. And then at the top, it will allow you to edit that file and put your comments into it. As you can see here as well, my teacher has set me an assignment and I can access this by clicking view assignment. And in here, you'll have the details of the assignment, what the teacher wants you to do, and also any supporting files. These files you may need to edit yourself, so if you click these files, it might be a writing frame that you are adding to. You may also be asked to upload work, and you do this by clicking the Add Work button. Once done, click Hand In, and the teacher will then be able to grade your assignments, and you will get feedback. I'm just going to quickly now show you something else that you can do within Teams to make assignments and instructions easier to read. So if you click the three dots and choose Immersive Reader, this will open up an interface that's a little bit easier to read and also has options such as reading aloud. So this is really useful if you're struggling to access the materials. You can change text preferences, highlight verbs and nouns and more, and also use the translate features all within Immersive Reader. If we look back in our team, you'll also see channels. Here you'll see a support channel, which is a private one because it's got a padlock next to it. And you'll also see open channels. And these are often topics or more information around your course. So your teacher will separate up the information for the course within the channel. I'm just gonna go back now to assignments and click on my class. Here you'll see any assignments that have been assigned to you, but also completed assignments which have been marked. So here you can see the assignment we submitted earlier has now had feedback from our teacher. And this is how you would view the feedback and also add any corrections the teacher has asked for. Going back into activity, you'll also get an activity log to say that you have had that. Next, let's have a look in general. As you can see now, a live lesson is taking place and you can join this by clicking join now. Once you have joined the meeting, you'll see your fellow students and teacher. And you'll also have options such as being able to turn off your camera, mute your mic, share your screen and more options. A top tip 
is to blur the background so it just focuses on you. To hang up the meeting, you just press the hang up button. The next thing to look at is the files tab at the top where all of the resources your teacher have put will be in, especially in class materials. You'll also see class notebook, assignments and grades in the tabs as well. The last thing to look at is calendar and in here you'll see any assignments and live lessons that have been set. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend.